let's train your golf swing correctly. Now, what is the difference between modern and traditional through that release? And well, how do we decide what is good for our golf game? Let's get into it. Okay, while I've got you, I've got a fantastic giveaway. This special edition Moving Day Cobra Puma Tour Bag. This is from the Open. I went last week, you saw it on social media. I'm giving you a chance to win it. It's easy, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below, win. The winner will be announced on Sunday. So looking at this in two aspects, I think a great way to look at this is we'll go through what a traditional release looks like and then we will move into what I like to see as sort of a more modern release of the golf club through impact. One where we see a little bit more of a stable club face and a faster body rotation. And by the end of this video, we're gonna sort of stop all those myths, we're gonna declutter that mind of yours and you're gonna be able to decide what one's best for your game. So let's start off with what a more traditional one looks like here. So we're going to reference last parallel on the way back to parallel on the way through. And if you look at this here, what I would see as a more traditional look to that impact position is a club face which is a little bit more open on the way down and a little bit more forearm roll through impact and a body rotation to support that. So not actively seeing that body fire. So if you look at this on a slow-mo now of me hitting this one away, this is what it would really sort of look like. More of these arms rolling over impact. So the traditional, we've, cl we've cleared that one. And we're going to just talk about it simply because we don't need to get too complicated about this. We hear all these modern terms right now. Pivot, strong club face, logo to target, fire the hips. What is it all about? Because I think we can all get a little bit lost on what this all is. The modern release. What we need to understand here is that a modern golf swing will have a little bit more of a stronger club face and a faster body rotation to square the face and less of a roll of these forearms. It does happen because naturally it's not going to be sort of taken all the way to target. There is just less of that factor. So let me hit one away now. We're going to put this one over in slow motion. So we're going to go up. We're going to feel the club face is nice and strong at this point. We're going to turn and fire through. So you can see there the difference on how active my body is and how much more passive my arms are you can really start to see, well, what one's gonna be more consistent? What one is gonna be help me play some better golf? So come to down the line perspective with me here. I think we've got a few things to weigh up and I want you to get into those comments on what modern golf swing do you like the most? The ones that sort of come to the forefront of my mind straight away is your likes of DJ. Definitely away from being in that traditional position. More your likes of Adam Scott, what I'd class as more traditional. Your likes of John Ram, more that modern look to the golf swing. Daniel Berger, all these players. But get in those comments. When did you start playing golf? And what do you think of the modern golf swing and your favorite one to go at? So looking at this in a little bit more detail now, why you can see a lot more players going down this modern aspect of the golf swing is for the simple fact that because the club face is stronger throughout this golf swing, we'll say it in general, the body turns faster, there is less of a toe rotation through impact. So if you just watch this here, we'll add another slow-mo in of me with a strong club face and rotating into impact. We'll now put one over with a weaker club face, more toe up, traditional. And look how much I have to release this club to sort of find impact. Now, if I've got to get more active with these hands, I can't get too active with the body, otherwise I won't have time to square up the face. So let's clear something up right now. Number one, there is no right or wrong, but we have to stick to one that is right for you. So if you're a golfer who's very athletic, got a body to support this, I would definitely be looking at you as a golfer who should go down more of the modern aspect. 
If you are a golfer who is a little bit more senior or even new to this game, starting off in a more traditional space, I think is definitely a good thing because you start to bring up a little bit more feel, you start to bring a little bit more into it. Because, let me say this why, if you're a golfer who currently struggles for clubbed speed because you have limitations, right? What's not gonna be good for our game is really feeling a strong club face and fast rotation. What is going to be better for our game is having potentially a weaker club face and having a little bit more forearms and body working together just to help you generate more speed. Hopefully you're following me along here and you're really understanding that you have to commit to one. Being a halfway house, I think is a very dangerous space because, well, then we start to get a little bit of those miss hits. Because if you're a person who is in that halfway house, and I've had players like this before, strong club face, active hands, where are we gonna hit this golf ball? we're not gonna enjoy looking down that left half of the fairway. Let's start off by deciding and showing you what is traditional, what is modern, and how do we build a bit of a better golf swing in for us, depending on our flexibility level and how long we've played this game. So let's start off with what do we see as a more traditional golf swing? Well, a more traditional golf swing, I would see a golfer that has a little bit more of a weaker club face at last parallel, okay and a little bit more active forearms and not as active body so a little bit like this slow-mo i put here on the side of the screen you can really see a little bit more active with these hands what i see as a more traditional looking golf swing is that what i now see as a more modern looking golf swing is this a bit of a stronger club face at last parallel a more active body and more passive hands. Now that requires a heck of a lot of rotation and have a look at this here. Now you might be wondering why has this sort of evolved? So let's come to down the line perspective and we'll cover this and as we're sort of transitioning here get in those comments how long have you played golf? And what do you take on the modern golf swing? And is there anybody that sort of sticks out to you? The ones that definitely stick out to me are your likes of DJ, John Ram, Daniel Berger, Justin Thomas. Very, very strong club faces and very, very active bodies. Now, let's just sort of show you the reasoning for this. Why has the golf swing evolved this way? Well, just adding some more slow-mos in here, if I have a little bit of a weaker club face at last parallel, if I didn't get these arms more active, this club face would always point a little bit out to the right. So my body has to be a little bit slower to allow my hands to square up this club face. Now, if we looked at this in a more modern aspect, a little bit of a stronger club face at last parallel, well, look at this now, if I active my body, look how little this toe of the golf club releases and rolls over at impact. It's a lot more active in the body, a lot less passive with the arms and the forearms. Okay, that's a heck of a lot of information for my channel. How do you decide and how do you go down the route of making your golf swing to the best of your ability a little bit more active in the body, a little bit more passive in the hands to give us a lot more control of this club face? So bringing this into your golf game, number one, we're gonna to have to make sure we're sort of stood to this golf ball athletically. So simple terms, like a goalkeeper in football, ready, nice and athletic, or in American football, ready to go and tackle somebody. So nice and athletic, over that golf ball, gripping the fingers to the top of the backswing. At last parallel, can we be in a position where we have a club face that is closely matching my spine angle? You can see a close up here from that down the line perspective to support this clip. Now, what I want you to do is just make some slow swings now, learning to rotate and move through. Rotate and move through. Now look how much more active my body is pushing up and out and through. And I want this to be a progressive thing that you bring into your golf game. Not something that you feel, oh, I've got to do that right away, okay? Something that you feel is a progressive motion from traditional to more passive. And by the way, you may never get there, but just reducing those arms a little bit, it's gonna give you 
a bit more control of this club face. So nice and simple, just hit a couple of shots away for me. To your last parallel, stronger club face, a little bit more belt buckle towards target at this point, and then we're gonna post and turn. So hit a shot away just from this point here, post and turn. And this will really give you a good feeling that your body's fired up a little bit more, that your hands are a little bit more passive. Up, flat lead wrist at last parallel, stronger club face, bit more active body and passive hands. Taking that to the golf course, what, how I would do this is simply stand over the ball, having a couple of practice swings of this, and then stand and hit one away. Really looking to feel as though your club face is stronger and your body is a little bit more active. Really, really important to understand that you may never get there, but reducing the rotation of this club face just a little bit is gonna give you a lot more joy, a lot better compression, and hopefully a touch more speed.